Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would talk to you a little bit about some of the things that I have been enjoying this past week, or actually probably the last couple weeks, maybe even the whole month. Anyway, just some things that I have been continuously using pretty much on a daily basis, and I thought I would just share with those with you today. I don't hardly ever do favorites, but I know what well, was one of the things I wanted to start incorporating into my channel this year um, since I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of no buy or a whole lot of buys. Hauls. Hauls. That's it. I'm going to give me a lot of hauls. I have no buy on the brain. So anyway. Um, so let's kind of start with um, this right here. This is from Chanel. This is an item that I bought I purchased off of Glambot. I had sold some makeup to them and um, when you do that with Glambot you get more money if you opt to have your money in credits as opposed to having it sit to you in cash. Anyway, so I got this. I have been wanting it. It's the um, Soleil Tan de, Ch de Chanel and I've had it in my collection for a while and when I was going through and doing my declutter of course I came across it I thought I need to pull this out and see if I'm going to like it and if not then let's get rid of it but I do I like it I like it a lot and I'm really surprised because I don't normally like cream products but here's what it looks like um, it's just a really nice soft creamy bronzer to just help um, warm up the perimeter of my face and what I've been using it for that I found that works the best with it for me is this little elf the small stipple brush right here and I just take it and just swirl it around and just do up around um, the perimeter and then my contour here a little bit down my nose and just blends really really easily it sets really good on top of powder because that's how I use it. I do after I've powdered my face, set my makeup, then I go in with this and it works really good. It doesn't move everything around and I really do like that a lot more than what I thought I would. Okay, another product that I am really enjoying using and this is in my um, project pan for 2017 little powdery I wanted to really concentrate on using up the highlighter and then hitting pan on the two bronzers on the side but the product I want to talk about the most is this highlighter right here um, this is just a really nice soft natural highlighter and if you have this and you haven't pulled it out for a while you need to get it out it's the hourglass um, ambient lighting palette um, it came out several years ago um, when it came out everybody talked about it you know it was the newest and greatest thing but here's a swatch of it oh my lights are too bright you're not gonna be able to see it but I am wearing it as my highlight um, on my cheeks and the way I like to apply it is with this brush here and this is the Wayne Goss number two brush it just goes in here and just picks up the right amount of product to just kind of put here and then a little bit on the apples of the cheeks and then right up here and it's just so pretty I do my bronzer and then I do this and then I put my blush on top of it there but yes I'm really much very much enjoying this highlight color and if I'm not mistaken I think you can buy that um, on its own now and it's the incandescent light so you don't have to get the whole palette if you don't want another makeup item that I've been enjoying and um, when I was doing my declutter um, this little guy here was hiding and um, Iris I probably would have decluttered him and it was from Kiko Milano and it's the blush in number 102 and I'm glad that after I did all my declutter I came across them because I really really am liking it um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell but the little Kiko imprint embossing here is almost completely gone because I've been using it that much but this is just the perfect perfect blush for winter fall and winter. It just goes with just about any makeup look that I can. I'm going to kind of build this up a little bit so you can see it. I'm not wearing it 
today but oh it is so pretty it almost reminds me of Tarte's exposed you know how everyone talks about it how it just being a very universal this is definitely a very universal blush it's very creamy and smooth um, it builds up nicely um, it's not too heavy pigmented so you don't have to worry about getting like just globs right here on your cheeks and then have to worry about um, getting it buffed out and spread out but yes anyway it's just so pretty and I think this was around I know it was less than ten dollars so very very pretty okay and the brush that I've been using to for it is this guy this brush here and this is from um, NARS but I forgot the name of it and even if I could remember the name of it I wouldn't be able to pronounce it because it's one of those really hard names and so I'll put it like down in here somewhere or it may already be flashing across here the name of this brush but it just picks up just the right amount of blush from here I just kind of swirl around and then just kind of go right here with my cheeks and it just puts the, just the right amount and just blends it so nicely and it's just so pretty this combination right here is really nice I really am enjoying pull it I pulled this out of my collection and really do like that I haven't done a declutter on my brushes yet I really am thinking about it but I'm kind of going through them right now and pulling ones out that I haven't used in a while to see if I want to keep them and this is one of those ones that I pulled out and I really am liking this for blush okay another product that I pulled out that I wanted to uh, really focus on using and I started this about mid-year last year and it's the meteorites from um, Guerlain and it's the number two and the way that I use them and let me get this locked here so you can see if you're not for sure what they are there's just these little multicolored beads or balls that um, when you swirl them all together they just put this most beautiful highlighting glow all over your face and that's what I do I use this as the very last step of my makeup routine before I spray my setting spray I use this and what I do is I shake them up I shake them up and then I have my little puff in there this is just a little makeup sponge and then I shake it up have this in there and then I just kind of just dab it all over my face like this I just pat it all over and oh my gosh it's so pretty not only is it beautiful but it smells good it's so elegant and just makes you feel like you are a movie star a movie star from like the 50s or the 40s you know mm, so pretty and it just makes your skin just glow it makes your skin and your whole makeup application just going so smooth and blended and it's just so pretty I mean look it's pretty okay the last thing that I have been enjoying and again I pulled out of my collection as I was going through and doing some declutter and it's from Jo Malone and it's my Rose Red Roses bath oil and I haven't used a whole lot doesn't take very much now I have not been putting this in my bath water what I have done is I have put some of it into this little spray bottle and I got this from um, Whole Foods just a little brown glass spray bottle and what I do is after I get out of my bath before I've dried off I just spritz some of this all over my arms all over my chest and just rub it in like this and just rub it in put some on my legs and it just leaves a beautiful scent of roses it's very hydrating because it's an oil and it's just soaks in really instantly it doesn't leave an oily feel on your skin and I swear the next day I can still smell it. I can still rub my arms like this. I smell my hands and I can still smell the roses, which I love the smell of roses. So love this, love this, pulled this out. Glad I'm back to using this and have been enjoying it immensely. So anyway, so those are some of my favorites. I hope that you have enjoyed and don't forget to do a thumbs up. And also if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss any future videos. And um, again, thank you so much. Leave in the comments some of the things that you have been enjoying this past week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.